Hello, and welcome to this demonstration on remote wireless lighting controls. My name is Josh, I'm an engineer at California Eastern Labs, and I'll be showcasing our MeshConnect mini modules using the Daintree ecosystem. In this demonstration, we will cover the equipment needed to set up a basic wireless lighting control system. We will also show you a system diagram featuring Daintree and MeshConnect technologies. Finally, we will run a quick hardware demo to show you how easy it is to implement your own wireless lighting control solution. You'll need a personal computer or mobile device with an internet connection to use Control Scope Manager. You will also need a wireless area controller. The wireless area controller provides the core intelligence of Daintree Network's Control Scope. Additionally, you will need wireless end nodes such as light fixtures, light sensors, motion sensors, or other Zigbee enabled devices. We recommend using CEL's Mesh Connect mini modules for a professional grade and easy to implement wireless solution. You can find out more at www.cel.com forward slash mesh connect. Here's a system diagram featuring Daintree and Mesh Connect technology. A system controller is connected to Daintree's Control Scope Manager, which delivers an easy-to-use web-based graphical interface for energy management and system configuration. The wireless area controller manages communications with all the end nodes using MeshConnect technology. Now that we're familiar with the hardware and software, let's demonstrate its functionality. On the right, you'll notice a wireless area controller. In the distance is an LED light connected to a MeshConnect mini module via one of CEL's universal evaluation boards. In order to control our light, we need to log in to Control Scope Manager. Once signed in, you will be presented with the dashboard. Go to the Zones menu. We've already created a zone. Let's select it. The zone is currently off. When we click the On button, the wireless area controller will send a Zigbee command to the Mesh Connect mini module that turns the LED on. You can see that the current state has been updated below. Now let's dim the light from 100% to 20%. In response to the wireless area controller's command, our Mesh Connect mini module varies a pulse width modulated output signal that changes the brightness of the LEDs. For our next demo, we will be using an ambient light sensor. The light sensor provides feedback to the network based on current lighting conditions. We've created another zone in Control Scope and added a light sensor plus two LEDs. Again, the LEDs and light sensor are connected to MeshConnect mini modules via CEL Universal eval boards. In a second, we will turn off the lights in the room. The MeshConnect mini module connected to the light sensor will report the new conditions to the wireless area controller. The wireless area controller will respond by issuing the Zigbee command to increase brightness to all the lights on the network. When we turn the light back on, the LEDs will return to their previous brightness. This concludes our demonstration. For more information on integrating MeshConnect products in your application, visit us at www.cel.com forward slash MeshConnect. Thank you for watching.